free, download, Friday, Trabtendo. What is going on, people? We are back at it again with another free download Friday. I already know you guys love this series. I've seen the views and the comments and stuff like that. So I'm going to continue as much as humanly possible with a good plugin because I don't like talking about free plugins that are trash. That's not how I rock on my channel. But other than that, though, a developer actually is a fan of this show and their name is Calum Audio and they reached out to me and they told me to check out Tape Cassette 2, which is their second iteration, obviously, with the two in there. And we're gonna see how good it is for that. So the link will be in the description box. Let me know how you feel. So when you click on the link in the description box, it will take you to their website. And as you can see, you'll have Tape Cassette 2 right here and Tape Cassette 1 right here. Uh, we're talking about Tape Cassette 2 though. Uh, they actually have some other stuff. I'm probably gonna milk some other free download Fridays, <laughs> but they got some uh, uh, household percussion and pretty piano progression. So basically, uh, when you go on their website, you will have to log in or make an account so you can download it, so you can have a serial number that you would uh, put in there as well. So it's pretty simple because it's a setup execution, but let's go ahead and uh, hear the track that we're gonna use. So this is basically from uh, one of my cook-up sessions uh, right now. Uh, take Set 2 is not on right now, so I just want to keep that in mind. So let's hear it with Take Set. So it is on. Off. So basically it's just force monoing uh, the audio right now. There are some other features, of course, that have saturation. Uh, low pass, noise, wow, and flutter. You know, your, your typical stuff here. But uh, other things I want to point out is I really like this GUI here. That is, it is vectoral. And you have different oversampling features as well, which overall affects how the audio will sound like. Uh, let's go ahead and flip through some of the presets, of course. Uh, I do apologize if they might be a little too loud. I don't know yet. So now that we addition through all the presets here, uh, I mean, let's go ahead and experiment with this. So we have saturation, low pass, noise, wow, flutter. We already talked about that. We have IR, which I don't know what that means. So let's find out. All right, it's good to be clueless, I guess. Let's mess with saturation.
I guess IR, what it really means is, uh, you can hear the noise here, let me turn that down. Um, so what does uh, IR mean? I guess it's just like reduction. So basically uh, it would change how the view meters would react. So yeah, uh, but at least I understand what it does now, but yeah, pretty decent. Um, I mean, kind of on par with a lot of stuff that you would pay for on a tape cassette plugin, uh, nonetheless. Uh, there's very few of them that actually do give you uh, as much as tape cassette 2 to be quite frank because I see a lot of them out there uh, but distinctively really good um, I don't know about judging it but you know if I was to judge it I guess probably different uh, cassette tapes you know Chrome's cassette tapes act different from metal c uh, cassette tapes and and bias cassette tapes etc etc those are different kinds of cassette tapes that really do affect how your audio would sound like. So, you know, uh, I guess that would be my only suggestion, but it's a free plugin nonetheless. So, you know, if you really just want to do tape cassette, lo-fi uh, music or whatever, you want to add this to synthesizers or anything like that, it'd be ideal for that. So, you know, it is what it is. Thank <laughs> you.